tonight, the president's plan to pay for the border wall and the people on this side of the border who are most worried about it. President, Pre president Trump said that he would build a border wall and that Mexico would pay for it. Following his executive order to begin construction, the White House floated a plan to tax imported goods from Mexico to fund it. Ken Molestina continuing his border tour tonight. He's in Laredo with the economic realities of such a plan. Ken? Yeah, Doug, and you know, this is in fact the largest port of entry for imported goods from Mexico into the United States. And the folks that I've been speaking to out here in Laredo today tell me that the ripple effect of this import tax won't only be felt here, but all the way up in North Texas and beyond. A symphony of 18 wheeler horns and exhausts with carefully choreographed truck movements are what you'll find all day long at the World Trade Bridge in Laredo. Every day, some 12,000 trucks cross this border with goods from Mexico. So what is the significance of this bridge to the cross-border commerce here? Well, this is the most important bridge on the border, really. 40% uh, of the traffic crosses to Laredo. Miguel Conchas is the president of Laredo's Chamber of Commerce. He says last year, this town saw some $280 billion in goods cross the border. Electronics, uh, auto parts, and... and uh, Produce. And now that the Trump administration is considering a 5 to 20 percent tax hike on these goods to pay for the controversial border wall, many importers like Rodolfo Delgado, who deals in produce, are left concerned about what this could do to his business. Maybe it'll slow down the business? Yes. And according to him, the ripple effect means the cost is passed down to the consumer. Take these strawberries, which many times head straight to North Texas, for example. So right now, this costs about $4. At the market. If you're hit with a tax increase, then what would this cost? Well, it can go up to five, five fifty. He says people will have no choice but to pay the increase because the U.S. food supply isn't in abundance. We don't produce here in the States enough food to feed everybody. And if we plant it, we don't have enough labor to harvest it. Even supporters of the wall here worry about the economic hit from an import tax. I'm not as, as much in favor of that. I think there's other ways to do it. But if it came down to it, Webb County Republican Party Chair Randy Blair says so be it. If it's spread out and, and con all consumers are going to pay for their own protection, I think people will swallow it much easier. It's going to be a rough road, but we'll find a way to solve it. And you know, in speaking to the people out here in Laredo, you kind of get the sense that what makes them the most uneasy is that they haven't had to deal with any kind of a tax or a tariff on imported goods since the North American Trade Agreement was signed back in 1994. NAFTA, that is, Doug. Yeah, so you mentioned uh, auto parts, electronics, produce, the top three imports from Mexico. Curious, if we saw kind of the worst case scenario with a steep import tax, which one of those three you uh, surmise might survive? Hands down, people down here say it would be produce, and the reason for it is because uh, we here on the U.S. side, we just consume, we buy so much of it, uh, and, and that has a lot to do with, uh, you know, how much we produce uh, in food and in produce as, as a country. We just buy so much of it, so produce would probably be the one, they say, that uh, would survive all of this, Doug.